Hello, and welcome to Wiremock Cloud Academy. Today, we'll look at how to work with JSON request bodies when using Wiremock Cloud's dynamic response templates. Wiremock Cloud provides several easy-to-use ways to work with JSON payloads so that you can easily create dynamic stubs. In our first example, we'll take a look at returning the entire array from a request body. We'll specify our matching criteria as a get on slash employees, and we'll be sure to enable dynamic response templating. Our response will simply use JSON path handlebar function, targeting the request.body, and then pulling the employees array. Let's test this out. Come over to our test requester. I'll paste in our sample request body. Notice the employees array containing three employees. When I send this, Wiremock Cloud responds back with the contents of the employees array. Notice all three records are there. Let's take a look at returning the elements of the array instead. In this case, we'll use a get on slash employees slash names. Again, dynamic response templating is enabled. In this case, we'll use the each handlebar helper. It will target the results of the JSON path from the request body employees array defining each record that is returned in that array as an employee. Then we'll use that employee.name to print each one out. Let's try it. Here you can see the result. Each employee has been printed on its own line. Let's move on to looking at maps and objects. In this case, we're going to respond to a get for the slash squad path. Again, enable dynamic response templating is checked. And we'll use that same each handlebar helper, but this time we're going to find the results coming back from the squad details object as a value key pair. And for each one of those, we'll print out key equals to value. Let's test this out. Our request body is slightly different this time. Hit send. And here we can see that each element of that map or object is returned on its own line. We can take this one step further and add a little bit of additional processing. This time we'll look at a V2 for the squad path. One more time, enable dynamic response templating is enabled or checked. And in this case, we're going to add an equal statement. So we still have our same each handlebar helper, but this time we're looking for only the key of squad name. And when it's found, we'll go ahead and we'll print out the key name and its value. Let's try this out. When I hit send, we no longer get all of the key values. We only get the one that we targeted with the equal handlebar helper of squad name. As you've just seen, Wiremock Cloud makes it easy to make dynamic stubs by using JSON path and handlebar helpers to reuse elements from a JSON request body in the responses. Try it yourself with a free forever account at wiremock.io.